The Minnesota Fighting Vikings were very concerned about a veteran free agent cornerback head into the season, but it wasn't Bashad Breeland, even though he got lit up week one against Cincinnati. It was Patrick Peterson, the high-profile signing from Arizona. The future Hall of Famer had noticeably lost his depth the last couple of years. Would he be worth an $8 million price tag? Well, he was, at least week one. Peterson made a nice debut for the Vikings, playing all 69 snaps. Nice, all on the right side. The Vikings played sides with their corners, uh, mainly checking T. Higgins and Tyler Boyd, but also got a little Jamar Chase in there as well, even though Chase was mainly on the left side, strong side against Breland, but eh, okay, eh, okay. But Patrick Peterson, week one, three targets, only one catch given up. Now, they dinged him, uh, PFF dinged him with an extra catch, except uh, Patrick Peterson explained on his podcast, All Things Covered, that it was cover two, so it wasn't really on him. I, I agree with Patrick Peterson. He had a quarterback rating of 42.4 when thrown at, and also, very importantly, had zero penalties, and that's big because Peterson led the league last year with 12 called, 10 accepted and noticeably P squared was getting a little bit more safety help than Brashad Breeland maybe that explains why Breeland got absolutely smoked uh, Harrison and Woods just giving a little bit more help to number seven side uh, and leaving Breeland more on an island but we said that this should and could be the plan going forward where Zimmer and Patrick Peterson need to check their ego in the offseason be like hey this is not set it and forget it belt buckle to belt buckle against wide receiver once Patrick Peterson just traveled Traveling all over the the stadium. No, that's not him anymore. He he needs to play a side. He needs to have a lot of safety help. And they did that. And they got a good game out of Patrick Peterson. And coming up, they got the Arizona Revenge Game Week Two. That's right. And it's gonna be tough, man. New Hopkins is the best wide receiver in the game. Kyler Murray looked absolutely legit uh, Week One against Tennessee. New had two uh, touchdowns uh, against the Titans, and he knows Patrick Peterson very very well. But familiarity cuts both ways. Peterson will be an encyclopedia on DeAndre, his tendencies. Same with Kyler Murray and that Kingsbury offense. He's going to be a big help in game planning this week uh, with Zimmer and the defense. So we're looking uh, for positives, and P squared is certainly one of them. Plus, I I love the attitude that he had on the podcast after the Vikings got punched in the mouth. They gave the game away against Cincinnati. Uh, You got punched. You got to get back up because you are going to get punched. You are going to lose in this league. But the question is, how do you react? Good teams do not drop two in a row. And the Vikings are staring down the barrel of this right now. And no to start. It's not good, especially the uh, upcoming games. Uh, Vikings could potentially be 0-4, but we'll see. We'll see. Statement game, must win week two. It says must win as a week two game can be. And you're on the road uh, in Arizona uh, against a red-hot opponent. So I say bring it. I said bring up P-squared, gonna give us the game plan, the keys to that offense, and just attack. Let's go, man. Uh, beer thoughts. Patrick Peterson, nice debut week one against Cincinnati. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most of that work pillows on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.